Welcome to this edition of Ethical Sustainable Investment News and Analysis to Profit By. I'm Ron Robbins, an ethical investing pioneer for over 40 years, quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, the Globe and Mail, and numerous other media, and founder of the highly respected global ethical sustainable investing information website, Investing for the Soul. And please listen to my disclosure disclaimer statement at the end of this podcast. Now enjoy this podcast. Hello, Ron Robbins here. Welcome to my podcast episode 88, published on July 29th, 2022, titled ESG Energy Stocks for 3Q 2022 and presented by Investing for the Soul. Investingforthesoul.com is your site for vital global ethical and sustainable investing, mentoring, news, commentary, information, and resources. Remember that you can find a full transcript and links to content, including stock symbols, quotes, and bonus material at this episode's podcast page located at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts. Now, if any terms are unfamiliar to you, simply Google them. Also, just a reminder, I do not evaluate any of the stocks or funds mentioned in these podcasts nor do I receive any compensation from anyone covered in these podcasts. Furthermore, I will reveal to you any personal investments I have in the investments mentioned herein. Please note that my next podcast will be either September 2nd or 9th. I'm taking August off to work on some projects. Now it seems that most analysts' ESG recommendations in the media continue to focus on ESG energy stocks and funds. So I have several articles with that view. The first one is titled Top Alternative Energy Stocks for Q3 2022. It's by Nathan Reef found at investopedia.com. Now some quotes. Here are the top three alternative energy stocks with the best value, the fastest growth, and the most momentum. 1. Daco New Energy Corp. is a China-based solar energy company that manufactures polysilicon for sale to manufacturers of solar cells and modules. The company also manufactures photovoltaic wafers. Deco reported earnings for Q1 2022 on April 21. Net income attributable to shareholders surged by over six-fold, while revenues quintupled year over year. This performance was driven in part by a jump in polysilicon sales volume. 2. Accelerate Energy Inc. is a liquefied natural gas company. It offers regasified natural gas delivery, storage and other related services. It has operations around the globe. On May 20th, the company reported that it had signed a 10-year contract with a subsidiary of Gas Grid Finland, OY, to charter a floating storage and regasification vessel. The vessel will serve Finland and the Baltic region with liquefied natural gas and related services. 3. Iberdrola SA is a Spain-based multinational electric utility company. 
the company engages in the generation, distribution and trading of electricity. It specializes in clean energy, including onshore and offshore wind and solar energy. End quotes. My comment about DACO. It's still being accused of using forced labor. Now here's the second article in this ESG Energy Stocks theme, titled Amoresco. Alternative Energies Best Near-Term Capital Gain Prospect by Peter F. Way on SeekingAlpha.com Here are some quotes from Mr. Way's blog. A three to five month prospect from here of Amoresco share prices could reasonably range from a $46 low to $58.80 high from its present price of $47.30, a 24.3% gain. From Yahoo Finance, quote, Amoresco Inc. is a clean technology integrator, provides a portfolio of energy efficiency and renewable energy supply solutions in the United States, Canada, and internationally. It offers energy efficiency, infrastructure upgrades, energy security and resilience, asset sustainability, and renewable energy solutions for businesses and organizations. In addition, the company sells photovoltaic solar energy products and systems, as well as provides consulting and enterprise energy management services, and owns and operates a wind power project located in Ireland. As of December 31, 2021, the company owned and operated 147 small-scale renewable energy plants and solar photovoltaic installations. End quotes. And a third article in the ESG Energy Stock Space titled Alternative Energy Stock Quietly Having a Great Year by Schaefer's Digital Content Team on schaefersresearch.com. This is some of what the team has to say. Enphase Energy Inc. is a global energy technology company and a supplier of microinverter-based solar and battery systems. The company's semiconductor-based microinverter system converts energy at the individual solar module level and brings a system-based high-technology approach to solar energy generation storage, control, and management. The company has shipped more than 45 million microinverters and over 2 million Enphase-based systems that have been deployed in more than 135 countries. On the charts, Enphase is up roughly 17% in 2022. Enphase Energy Stock offers a rich valuation at a price-earnings ratio of 55.87 and a price-to-sales ratio of 18.24. Nonetheless, the company has maintained high and consistent growth rates over multiple years, which has helped the market justify the company's inflated valuation. Enphase Energy is also expected to grow its revenues and earnings 31.7% and 22.9% respectively for fiscal 2023. End quotes. And a fourth article in this ESG Energy Stocks vein is titled Three Most Undervalued Renewable Energy Stocks to Buy by Will Ashworth on InvestorPlace.com. Among Mr. Ashworth's comments are the following. 1. Brookfield Renewable Corporation. 
was created so that investors could invest in its renewable power assets through a corporation rather than a limited partnership. The company's June 2022 annual shareholders meeting highlighted that Brookfield Renewal Corporation generated $934 million in funds from operations in 2021, 10% higher than a year earlier. In the five years between 2021 and 2026, it expects to grow funds from operations by 10% or more annually. For those who want a more diversified portfolio, you can own Brookfield Renewable Corporation indirectly through Brookfield Asset Management, which owns 26% of the company. Brookfield Asset Management stock is down 25% year to date. You won't go wrong owning Brookfield Asset Management over the long haul. 2. Next Era Energy Partners LP is a growth-oriented limited partnership created by its parent company, Next Era Energy, in June 2014. It owns wind and solar projects, natural gas and infrastructure assets in the US. It seeks to grow LP distributions by 12 to 15 percent per year between 2019 and 2024. So far, it's increased them by approximately 15% per year. Its annualized distributions since its IPO have increased by 290% from $0.75 cents to $2.93 at the end of 2021. Down 9.4% year to date, I wouldn't say that Next Year Energy Partners LP is it screaming by, but it's not overpriced either. 3. Amoresco, yes, again, <laughs> is in the business of owning renewable assets and helping others implement clean energy solutions for their businesses. In 22 short years, Amoresco completed more than $11 billion in energy solution projects for more than 8,000 customers worldwide. In addition, it owns 353 million watts of energy assets for solar, landfill gas, renewable natural gas and battery storage. Amoresco has been able to increase its revenues since 2017 by more than 21% annually, from $717 million in 2017 to an estimated $1.87 billion in 2022. Over the same period, the company has grown its adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization EBITDA, by 27.1% annually. With Amoresco stock down more than 46% year-to-date, it's trading at the same levels it did in December 2020, 18 months ago. Under $40 would be a perfect entry point. End quotes. In this next article, Brookfield Renewal Corporation and Next Era Energy Partners LP are again recommended. It's titled, Two Unstoppable Renewable Energy Stocks to Buy for the Next Decade by our friend Matthew DiLalo on 4.com. 1. Brookfield Renewable operates a globally diversified portfolio of renewable energy and energy transition assets. It currently generates 21 gigawatts of renewable energy. Its assets produce steady cash flows backed by long-term power purchase agreements. Brookfield anticipates that mergers and acquisitions will add up to 9% per share to its bottom line each year. The company recently raised a record $15 billion for an energy transition fund to help companies decarbonize their operations. That's giving it additional capital to complete deals, positioning it 
to further capitalize on the decarbonization mega trend. 2. Next Era Energy Inc. Next Era Energy operates Florida Power and Light, a leading electric utility in the state, and Next Era Energy Resources, a large scale clean energy infrastructure business. The Energy Resources Unit operates natural gas pipelines, renewable energy generating facilities, battery storage operations, and electricity transmission lines that generate steady cash flow backed by long-term fee-based contracts. The company recently unveiled its Real Zero strategy to eliminate its carbon emissions by 2045. Florida Power & Light is undertaking the largest solar energy expansion in the nation, which it's supplementing with large-scale battery storage deployment. It also aims to replace natural gas in its power plants with green hydrogen and renewable natural gas. Management expects profits to grow by more than 10% this year. It then foresees them expanding at the high end of its 6-8% target range through at least 2025. That should give the utility the funds to grow its 2.1% yielding dividend by at least 10% annually through 2024. End quotes. Incidentally, and this is my comment, Florida Power and Light is just accused of unethical competitive behavior. Finally, in this series of um, ESG energy stocks, I'm going to look at this article, which is not a stock recommendation, but rather an interesting assessment of solar panel makers available in the US. It's titled Top Solar Panel Companies 2022 and by Lisa Isgroup on saveonenergy.com. Here is some of what Ms. Isgroup and fellow researchers say. Quote, the solar industry is a combination of many business sectors, from solar installers to dealers to solar panel manufacturers. Navigating your solar energy journey can take time. When you are researching solar panels for your home, one place that's good to start is with a solar panel company or manufacturer that you want. Based on our research, here's our top solar 10 panel companies. Canadian Solar Inc., Certain Teed, First Solar Inc., Hanwha, Jinko Solar, LG, Loomis, REC Solar, SunPower, Tesla. End quotes. There's much more information on their site. Now we turn from ESG energy stocks to infrastructure with an article titled Three High Yield Infrastructure Stocks to Buy Now. It's by Daniel Forber, Scott Levine, and Lee Samaha, again on 4.com. Now, one of the recommendations is Kinder Morgan, an oil gas pipeline company, hence I'm leaving it out. 1. Scott Levine picks Brookfield Infrastructure. Currently offers an enticing forward dividend yield of 3.8%. With global operations in North and South America, Europe and the Asia-Pacific region, Brookfield Infrastructure has a worldwide presence in a variety of infrastructure projects including, but not limited to, natural gas pipelines and storage, data centers, toll roads and electricity transmission. Investors should be relieved to learn that 90% of the company's debt is a fixed rate. Should the company return $2.16 to unit holders in 2022 as it plans, it will represent an approximate 10% compound annual growth rate for its distribution since 2009. Looking ahead, 
management has targeted continued annual distribution growth of 5 to 9 percent. Two, Lee Samaha recommends Hubble. There aren't many industrial companies whose earnings are trending ahead of initial expectations going into 2022, but Hubble is one of them. Management began 2022 forecasting organic sales growth of 8 to 10 percent and adjusted diluted earnings per share of $8.75 to $9.25 only to raise it to 11 13 percent and $9 to $9.40 on the first quarter earnings call in late April. The company makes electrical equipment, meters, connection projects and lighting fixtures. About 56% of its sales go to the utility market, mainly transmission and distribution, with 44% to electrical solutions, electrical products, connection and bonding. There's a need to replace the infrastructure of an aging U.S. electrical grid. No company will be truly safe from recession, but Hubble stands to do relatively well. Throw in a 2.3% dividend yield, and the stock is attractive for investors. End quotes. Now some other honorable mentions, not in any order, and links on this podcast's web page. 1. Title. This renewable energy juggernaut continues to produce powerful results on 4.com. Again by Matthew DeLalo. 2. Title. Three sustainable ETFs for ESG-focused investors on the Canadian Yahoo.com site. By Adam Othman. 3. Title. My top renewable energy stock for the second half of 2022 on 4.com by Daniel Fulbar. Now, plus an article for UK investors, again link on this podcast's webpage. Title, Best ESG Funds 2022 on ForbesAdvisor.uk by Andrew Michael. Well, these are my top news stories with their stock and fund tips for this podcast, ESG Energy Stocks for 3Q 2022. To get all the links, and stock symbols, or to read the transcript of this podcast and more, go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcast and scroll down to this episode. Also, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you download or listen to this podcast. And please click the share buttons to share this podcast with your friends and family. Let's promote ethical and sustainable investing as a force for hope in these deeply troubled times. Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening. Now again, I'm taking August off to work on some projects, so I'll talk to you next on Friday, either September 2nd or 9th. Have a great August. Bye for now. Learn how to create a simple portfolio reflecting your personal values by taking my one-hour tutorial. Go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and click the link in the right-hand column for my DIY Ethical Sustainable Investing Pays tutorial. Now, I'll mention in the podcast if I have any direct interest or holdings in companies or securities I'm talking about. Furthermore, any news, opinions, analysis or other information offered by myself, as well as references and information to or from other external sources in this podcast, is provided as general market information and should not be relied upon and thus does not constitute investment advice. Investors should consult their own licensed investment professional before making investments. Also, 
I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on information in this podcast. Do contact me at ronr at investingforthesoul.com. Signing off, this is Ron Robbins.